This is Griffin Avid presenting SciTech Brushes and Overlays Volume 1. It's a collaboration between myself and Ron Deviney, who you know from my courses. I use a lot of his products for my post work. We're combining energies this time and presenting holographic images that are both 3D objects in the DAS Studio environment and also tools for your post work. So this actually, this promo image is a combination where this is a real 3D object in the DAS scene and then it was finished off with post work. But let's take a look inside the DAS scene and talk about what you actually get. So this is a scene I put together of some characters. This is promo art for the product. And they're working on their cyber tank using these holographic interface elements. And if you look at them, they come in multiple layers. So you will get several layers of planes which create the holographic effect. If you can see if I tilt it. These are actual 3D planes that he's inside of and interacting with. And she also has a set of her own if you see us move through them. So we get 3D, 2D planes. And that becomes the basis for the hologram. And they're interchangeable. So once you get your material settings, there's a ton of material settings. You can pick, choose, mix and match and just make your own combination of elements. Some of them have uh, motifs with the circles. And that also translates to the 2D realm where some of the holograms are circular. We have overlays. We have just little added effects that are good for logos. So it's a pretty comprehensive uh, product. Maybe we should talk about what you actually do to install these if you're somewhat new to brushes. Uh, when you download the zip file from the DAS store, you're going to have two sets of files. A SciTech Overlay Brushes, which is a bundle of actual brushes that go inside your Photoshop. And these are styles. These are layers or effects that when activated on the brush itself in Photoshop, it can add a glow. It can uh, change the colors. It'll just add an extra burst of energy or specialness to some of the special uh, effect shots. Let's take a look at then a promo piece and see how we put this together. Let's do that. So this is me inside Photoshop. If I select my brushes palette and open this up, it opens up my selection of brushes. This would be the side tech brushes that I'm going to pick and you're gonna see the brushes here. And I click on the brush and I can apply it to my scene. Let's pick a color. Maybe pick like a reddish color. And now I've got a red brush on my scene, if that makes any sense. Let's talk about a layer and some of these styles. So let's make a layer for this particular brush. We'll call this brush red overlay A. And let's say I brought, let's pick a different one. I brought the brush, I'm gonna resize it a bit somewhere. Let's just put the brush here and I'll Give it a little bit, a few clicks to darken it. So I've got my brush on a separate layer. Now if I go to my styles menu, I wanna go to a layer, I'm gonna pick a style. Let's say we're going to go with, do I already have his styles up? Oh good, I don't. So we can load his styles, which would be ours, the SciTech Glow styles. And now we have all the styles that this product comes with. And when I apply a style, it will impact the brush. So again, this is a style preset that will impact the brush. It's really the layer, but the brush is on a layer if you understand that little connection between in the layers menu, I made a new layer of just the new brush effect. I could have painted it like I did the first time right onto my scene, which uh, some, some people do, but you can actually make a separate layer for your brush to be applied on. And then once there, I can impact just that brush. But these are actually good for almost any product that has brushes in it. And I will use these styles in other artwork. But that's pretty much how that works. If you're completely new to Photoshop, maybe we should discuss some of these folders and locations. I made mine a desktop shortcut so that it's easy to find. But in your Adobe program, there'll be wherever you've installed your Adobe to, there'll be a set of folders called uh, your main your main Photoshop brush and the inside the presets folder you'll have a bunch of presets here is where I would drag and drop my styles to let's take a look at the comparison my brushes would go 
drag and drop into my brushes folder and the styles will be dragged and drop into my styles. And then once I close and open Photoshop again, I would have this in the styles menu. So if you didn't see how I pulled that up, let's do that again. There is a styles window, which was here. And this showed the current styles that I have. Uh, these are the ones that I use for my comics, most of my stuff. And I can actually open up, it'll show me a preset list or I can open it up and load styles. So these are a bunch of styles that I have. Um, as you can see, all the ones from Ron's previous products are, are here. I collect all of his items and they've got different styles. That's to remove the style and get it back to what it was at default. So again, you could either do it on a separate layer or sometimes we actually paint onto it for special effects. We'll paint onto the layer itself. And this would be impacting the image. As you know, I, when you've seen me do my work in classes, I usually duplicate all of these layers so that I'm never actually uh, creating my art or my special effects on the original. But I do sometimes actually, you'll see, I think in some of these, if we go up, you'll see that actually I do um, actually affect the original as we move up through the process. Let's take a look at some of these effects though. We, uh, we have our base image straight from Daz. This is our Daz render. We had, oh, that's our new one. We added an extra little set of brushes. This was a 2D effect that we added in post. We uh, keep clicking that, that's funny. You're gonna have to go now. Another, more, more. And we're just changing the color here as I apply the brushes to give it much more, uh, much more color and interest. Then we flattened all of this and created a new layer, which was just that with some color effects. As we move up, bloom was the glow that we added here onto this. We really loaded out the brushes. Then we have pretty much our final art and we put a nice little flare in the middle. And that's how we came up with the promo art. Let's take a look at some of the other ones. Let's pull up some of our promo art and just take a quick look at what did what. So, real 3D object, 2D here. These are post work effects. I used one for the actual logo. And this effect, this is actually one of Ron's grunge brushes that was used to make the text sort of sit and um, remain consistent. This is a 3D overlay inside of the Daz store. This wasn't done in post. This is actually a real holographic image the characters are standing behind. This is also a real, you can see the layers of it, the real holographic interface that the character is actually able to interact with. This explains the different planes that you get. Like I said, you can switch, swap them out and add your own. That gives you an idea. These are a look at how the plates sit inside of Daz. This is actually a Daz render. And this is a version of it showing the different layers of plates. Combination that we explained. Let's take a look at the styles that you're gonna get. And uh, look at some of the brushes. Some of the cool shapes you're gonna get. Sci-fi to be sure. Looks good. Holographic character. Character and the holographics. Looks cool, two different angles, same shot, so you can see. This was my overkill shot, which is all the holograms interacting, making a truly chaotic scene. The guy getting blown up at his workstation, but this came out nice. And this shows that the holograms also have graphics on them, colorful graphics embedded. And one of the final shots. These are the characters we talked about. I-Ray Render. Characters interacting with the holograms. So, this is SciTech Overlays and Brushes, which is a combination of Griffin Avid and Ron Devani. This should be heading to the Daz store. I thank you for your support, and as always, happy rendering.